life was amazing. Everything was going so, so well, and you'd never guess that in the flick of a switch, your, your life would change forever. Rob was pretty much as close to death's door as you can get. With a 43% total body surface area burn, we gave him about a 27% chance of surviving. 27? 50-50, I'd be nervous. One of the main treatments is to scrub your, your legs with a nail brush. And they scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub. It's the closest thing I can imagine that, that hell might feel like. Usually, when you have a severe burn, it's crucial to get intravenous fluid started as soon as possible, preferably within an hour. Rob went 10 days without any intravenous fluid. That's amazing. So I thought when I was better, I wanted to, to give back to all these people that, you know, saved my life. And I thought the best way was to do something extreme. So I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if someone who'd been through the injuries I'd been through can actually walk to the South Pole? I was really honoured when he asked me if I would go and be his doctor on the expedition. Um, having contributed to saving his life once, I hope I'm not going to have to do that again, and that his burns and his scars don't put his life at risk. The injury doesn't rule your life, that you can still do anything you want. He was burnt over a, a very large percentage of his body. It was in excess of 40% full thickness burns. Now, given his age, that gave him a very, very high predicted mortality. We know that the sooner one intervenes when people are very ill, the more their chances are of surviving. So really, he had put himself perhaps in a position where survival was almost, was at least very difficult, if not impossible. And yet, somehow, he survived. It's something within his, within his body, within his genetics, within his response to illness that we don't quite understand. Is there something in me that allowed me to survive when I shouldn't? And if there is, can we take it out in order to eventually help others? Can you imagine that if you find out that you are potentially a reason that mankind is better? That's amazing. How real is that and, and will we find it? We don't know but we're going to try. <laughs>